So, you want to know what fragrances I've been rocking the most in 2021? Well, meet me on the other side of this intro and I'll tell you 12 of them anyway. Stay tuned. What's going on, everybody? <laughs> you guessed it. You have returned to the scene of the crime. It is your boy, LL Cool Trey. Oh, Trey Belafonte. Don't matter as long as you call me Trey. Listen, so I got a nice little discussion, conversation, review, whatever you want to call it for you tonight. And what this is, is 12 fragrances in my collection that, to my best recollection, these are the ones that I have reached for the most this far in 2021. Now, we're in the ninth month, and we're almost through the ninth month, so we ain't got but um, just a few. We got October, November, and December. Just a few weeks left in this year, and it's out. So it seems like it's went by fast, but um, we got some various situations here. We got some chill time. We got some date time. We got some renting some errands time. We got some, you know what, I just want to be professional time. We got some, I just like it time. You know what I'm saying? So no further ado, let's get busy. Okay, that's corny. Okay. Anyway, first fragrance on this list is from Dapper. And it is Dapper's version of Killian's Angel Share. And I want you to look at the juice levels on that. You see what it said? When I say I spray up, man, I spray up. I really like this scent. <sighs> it's masculine, it's sweet, it's playful, it's sexy, it's romantic, it's kind, it's considered, it's the... Never mind, I'm talking about myself there. Um, nonetheless, y'all, this is a banger of a fragrance. I really like this. Wore this to work, got several good compliments. Even had to stop one time, just put it out of my pocket and hand it to one of my coworkers, because he, he, it's a guy I work with. Every time he walked by me, man, you be smelling good. And we, he got his mask on, I mean, he be cutting up in here, because he kind of talked like this. And he be like, man, Trey, man, you be smelling good. And I just reach out in my pocket and be like, man, smell that, tell me what you think about it. And he be over there. I know folks think we crazy, we be over there in the corner talking about But I mean, it's, it, look, it's fraghead problems, man. You, you know, that's what fragheads do. He be like, I like that, I like that. I'd be like, man, that's so-and-so, that's so-and-so. He'd be like, yeah, 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 I like that, I like that. So, Dapper's version of Killian. Love that scent, love the way it smells, love the way it performs on me. Straight compliment getter, no joke. The next one is a cheapie, and this one I reach for. Certain situations like this when I'm just chill, ain't got nothing pressing to do, nothing major going on. Can watch old football game, you know, just chill. Do what Belafonte's do. <laughs> and it is from the house of Beverly Hills 90210. And it's just called him. It just all it says, Beverly Hills 90210 him. And this sucker right here is a room. I'm not even going to spray it. Because it's a room filler. I mean, it, very bright. I mean, to me, my thoughts on this fragrance, honestly, if... Aqua de Parma or Tom Ford or somebody released this fragrance and charged you $250 for it, you would pay it. You would pay it. Some of you would, some of you wouldn't, but a lot of you would pay it and be bragging about how good it smells, but because it's just a little, long, little known company without a lot of fanfare, you sleep on it. And that's exactly what you're doing. I mean, you, you snooze it. Snoozing hard on this fragrance, I'm telling you. Bright, bright, bright. If you don't like bright fragrances, hey, I get it. Not for you. But if you like a bright, citrus, smooth fragrance, I mean, it smells like something that you would want to drink. That's how good it smells. I absolutely love this fragrance. And I recommend it. I really do. Beverly Hills 90210 for him. And I think that company is actually called Torrid. Look up Torrid and you may find that fragrance. If not, just go to 
fragrance net and um look there i'm pretty sure it's there this next one Givanti, Givanti, Givanti gentlemen's boise the edp uh puffo mm. this is one of my sexy time date night fragrances when i'm when i'm when i'm clean and you can't tell me nothing you can't tell me nothing 90 I have to recalculate 90 something percent of the time. But this fragrance right here, when I'm trying to go out on a little date, a little audition, you know what I'm saying? And show, you know, show a little lady a good time, you know what I'm saying? You know, when she didn't upgrade it from the sizzler, when she finally been acting right, you know, because I, you know, I had to put Felicia on the road because she just, you know, she, she don't want to act right. You know what I'm saying? I don't ever want to cook nothing, I don't want to clean up. So you take a little female out on an audition, you know, you want to smell good great date night type of scent i just can't imagine a female telling you you smell bad with this on i just can't it's just smooth sophisticated i mean straight to bella Fonte wave right here love it absolutely love it i remember the first time <laughs> sam smelled this i guess he was at the mall he called me yo trey yo the boy say trey that smell good that smell good trey and i was like i told you sam nah you tell me, you tell me this smell good. You try to keep it a secret. I'm like, nah, Sam, I told you. Yo, I'm finna get it. I'm finna get it. I'm gonna smell good too. And he got it. Poor Sam. I pick on my friends all the time. I don't see how I got any. But nonetheless, man, this is spicy, leathery, perfect for this time of the year. Now, this is not a monster of a projector, so you could actually get away with wearing this one to the office or to church as well. You might cause some problems if you were at the office, though. So be careful. You can't walk up in there. You know, you can't walk through when you wear this one. Now, you can't come through that thing. You got to behave yourself. If you spray this on and come through there, come down through there, some people ain't going ain't gonna, to ain't gonna handle it. Karen is going to call HR and tell them you're harassing her or complain about it. Somebody's wearing too much cologne. So not that it's an over projector or monster performer or anything, but some people don't like to be bothered. You know what I'm talking about? So don't bother Karen. Be careful with this one because you come down through there too smooth, too smooth, too clean. This next one is one of my favorite fragrances all time. It's a Hall of Fame fragrance on my list. I have the EDP and the Parfum. This is the EDT and it may be my favorite of them all. Blue de Chanel EDT. I absolutely love this fragrance. Chanel. <laughs> makes really good high quality fragrance and this is no exception sharpness it is blue it is sharp sharp citrus just cool and refreshing and i think i got some skin that need to be sprayed let me find it, that nozzle right there and it's got a magnetic top how could you not like a fragrance that doesn't have that has a magnetic top mm-hmm yeah little bit of alcohol right there in the beginning but it doesn't really smell like alcohol it just smells like something strong if that makes any sense and then you give it a minute and then that that, that sharp citrus comes in it like bam. yes i love this fragrance wore this a lot this summer this is a good one to wear to the office as well uh very versatile little fragrance i think you can wear this one on a date Summertime or winter, which is why I reach for it a lot. I think this goes well on a cool night. There's something about it to me that just makes it versatile. It's not the most masculine of fragrances, but it is so smooth, so cool, so charming. I just find myself reaching for it a lot. I do. It's so inoffensive. But at the same time, it just has this certain savoir faire about it. You know what I'm saying? It just has it just has that, that perfect stance, that perfect uh, uh, projection, that perfect longevity. It's just, it's just, you know, cause I know we all want fragrances the last 55 hours, but let's be realistic. They all can't. Some of them got to get in and get out. Now this one could last longer, but I'm okay with hitting them with the pump fake on this one because it smells that good. Another one that I've reached for multiple, multiple times on multiple occasions this year, we even wore it on several dates. Netflix and chill, whatever you want to call it. Several times this bad boy was got ah, picked up. Bam, bam, bam. 
And I think the reason I like this fragrance so much is because you can dress it up or you can dress it down. I mean, you can put on a uh, nice t-shirt and a pair of shorts and be just fine. Blue jeans and a t-shirt and be just fine. You can put on a suit and tie and you're going to be just fine with Blue de Chanel. Whether it's the EDT, the EDP, or the Parfum. The one I reached for the most was the EDT. And it could be the time that I got it because I got it right at the end of spring. Matter of fact, it was hot when I got it. But I still think it was spring. I think right at the end of April, 1st of May, maybe. Um, maybe 1st of May. So, but since then, I have worn that bad boy. Oh, my goodness. Where do I start? Let's go with another bright, easy citrus one to wear. Zara's Summer Collection. And this is one, another one. I'm going to put this one in the air that I think is just a really, really, really nice fragrance i was sent this cologne by lamar gadston who is a sub of mine he needs to do reviews i think he does something on instagram but lamar is a very knowledgeable gentleman of fragrances love having conversations with him very knowledgeable knows his stuff um zara's funny though I, you know which i think they have some stores somewhere i'm not really familiar i know you can order zara online I know they run a lot of sales with coupon codes. So if you catch your coupon codes right and catch this on sale, you can get this fragrance for $12 to $15. If not, I think it's normally around the $20 range, maybe a little bit more. Uh, but it's it's well worth that. Just a bright, citrus, easy to wear type of fragrance. Goes great in the Alabama summers. This is one I would reach for if I had to run down to the car wash or uh, run down to the grocery store and pick up me a few and choose, you know, just a little something, something throw in the skillet or whatever. Or, you know, just had to run in the gas station or whatever. This is one of those. Or like say I'm last minute, man, I gotta run to Walmart. It's grab and go. This is that fragrance from the house of Zara. It is summer collection. This next one is from a very reputable clone house. The house is a moth. The fragrance is legacy. What this is cloning is Platinum Eagle East. And I think it is pretty close to Platinum Eagle East. And I wore this quite a few times this summer. Chilling by myself, going to check out a, a rag store or something, grab and go. Or I gotta run uh, to the courthouse for something. This is one of those easy grab and go fragrances that smells really good. Now, occasions that you could wear this one, this would be another good offer scent. This would be another one. You could wear this one on a date, especially now that the weather's cooling off a little bit. To me, this lends itself to the cooler weather. Not that you couldn't wear it in the heat of the day because I most certainly did, but I think to get the most um, romantic effects out of it, I think you should want to wear a Moth Legacy in a little bit cooler weather or even at night. You know what I'm saying? Like on a nice summer night, well, you know, it's probably going to be 78, 79, maybe even 80 degrees still, but no sun out. I think this just blends in great with that atmosphere. Um, the fragrance smells great. I could see this being one that a professional reached for a lot. Um, nice suit and tie type of fragrance. And people are going to think you spent a lot of money on this. That is a moth legacy. And I think that's about 30 bucks. All right, I got a few more coming few more coming down the pike here a fragrance that I did not like when I first got it it took a minute for it to grow on me but it grew on me relatively fast everybody else loved it as soon as it came out and it is from the house of Versace and it is Eros Flame I like the original Eros as well again this is another one of those date night monsters there's something about Eros and Eros Flame that women like they just do. I mean, I don't know why, but they do. You don't believe me? Get you a bottle and try it. You don't have to get a big bottle. Get you a small bottle like this. I love these, these little 30 ml bottles. They come in handy. They don't take up much room in the collection. You get full presentation. You even get a spray. Let me see if I can find a little spot to put this on. It smells very similar to the original Arrows with just a little bit more maturity, a little bit more sophistication, and a little bit more depth. Yeah. 
That's nice. That's nice. That's real nice. And this is one that right now, right now, if you have this in your collection, in my opinion, this is the perfect time to be wearing it. Uh, today was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I had to go to the doctor today. It was so hard to just come home because the sun was out. Big old pretty white clouds, blue sky. I wanted to just hit the road so bad. It was like, man, bro, head to Huntsville. Just hit the highway. You're already in Florence. You ain't got that much further. Hit the highway. Go to Huntsville. <laughs> Go to Marshalls. <laughs> Go to Burlington, you know? But I didn't. I came home as I was instructed to. <sighs> this just smells good. This smells good. And this is one of those fragrances that I think is almost a year-round fragrance. You can definitely wear it in the spring, definitely wear it in the summer, and definitely wear it in the fall. You could wear it in the winter. Um, I just have so many other choices. I would stay away from it in the winter. But if you don't have a whole lot of choices, by all means, spray this on the coldest winter day. Man. It smells good. It smells very similar to the original Arrows, but it just has a little something extra. To me, it has a little bit more citrus in it, I think. I think that's citrus. I don't know. Very sexy fragrance. I like it. Speaking of sexy fragrances. Boy, boy, boy. What is on a few dates this summer? <laughs> And you couldn't tell me, I promise you, I promise you. I don't see how I got my head in the car. It had to be a struggle. I had to hit him with one of them, one of them, because it, it had to be a struggle. Maybe I had to lean back like Fat Joe on him to get their head in the car, because when I put on this Valentino one more aqua, let me tell y'all something. This is a sexy little summertime type scent right here. Grown man, masculine, mature. Hey, I know what I want in life. I ain't playing no games with your type of fragrance. I mean, it's just what it is to me. I got stuff everywhere. That gummit, I need four arms. Man, come on. There we go. Boom. Boom. I did what Denzel say? Boom. I ain't even got to put my nose to it. <laughs> you can smell that over here. Thumping. Mm, mm, mm. That's beautiful. <sighs> and I'm going to tell you, a nice pair of clean jeans with the iron on them, that starch on them, some nice tennis shoes or some nice boots or some nice shoes, nice little button up that fits you right, little timepiece on your wrist. And this, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, my confidence be like super duper, just, I mean, just through the roof. I love that. Just sexy. To me, that's just sexy. Valentino Wumo Aqua. Love it. Y'all, I got four more. This one right here is another one that I think is just Sexy. Well, let's put that the wrong way. I think this fragrance is just sexy. Oh my God. Man! Prada Luna Rosa Black. Man, oh man, oh man. This is another one. Hey, it'd be so stupid big. I mean, it's ridiculous. It'd be big as my ring. Like, absolutely love this fragrance, man. Prada Luna Rosa Black. I was so happy to find this one. I've told the story many times. It was in Burlington. I went to Burlington in Huntsville, Alabama, specifically looking for this fragrance. Do you hear me? Specifically. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. And I'm thinking, man, they ain't got it. Set my hand down on the shelf to rest a minute, and I'll be doggone. I promise you. There it was, so I was like, you gotta be kidding me. And I remember call, I called Manny. He, I think I called JP, he didn't answer. Called Manny, he didn't answer. Finally got Sam, well, you know what Sam said. So, you know, this is just sexy. Prada, Luna Rosa, black. Oh my goodness. 
this this mm, this is just straight up man juice in a bottle right here absolutely love this fragrance uh definitely a date i i don't think i would wear this one to work i don't i don't definitely wouldn't wear it to church you're gonna mess up somebody's whole service i wouldn't that's just me that's just me that's just this is trey belafonte just saying i would not wear it to church who am i kidding yes i would i would wear it to squirt to church and probably be being sprayed 15 sprays on it. don't let me get the line up in here yes i would do that and cause a distraction because this stuff is amazing Prada luna rosa black love it Great little date night fragrance. Another one that I have sprayed a lot of this summer. I'm just gonna show you the juice levels. Juice levels about right there. About right there. From the house of Sensual Obsessions. This is his version of Aventus. This is King of Kings. My goodness, y'all. That's beautiful. Fruity. Smooth, fruity, masculine, that, that. I remember I wore this one time out to eat. And it was like three people in front of me waiting to get in or waiting to be seated. And they were talking about how good somebody smelled. And I was three people back. And I'm back there talking about, it's me, baby. It's me, baby. It's me, baby. Because I knew, I knew it was me. And I smelled good. Longevity on point, projection on point. I even wore this to work one time. And of course, several compliments. Even the ones that then compliments you catch. I hate when notifications don't leave my phone. It bugs me. Even the ones that didn't compliment. Was <laughs> I'm just like, yeah. This next one is another one I hadn't had very long. I bought it at the same time I bought this Blue de Chanel. But since I got it. YSLY La Parfum. Not a monster projector. Um, but it's just, this fragrance just has something about it that I like. It's masculine, it's playful, but at the same time, it's so smooth and so chill. It's just, it's, I love it. I love it. I absolutely love it. YSL La Parfum. And this is the perfume concentration. This is a perfume concentration. Um, it's not a monster projector, as most fragrances that are perfume concentrations aren't. I would wear that one anywhere. I think it's a good fragrance to wear in the summertime, wintertime, spring, fall. I think it's a good all year, all, all round, all weather, all event type of fragrance. Church, date, football game. I mean, it's, it's nice. It's a close encounter type of fragrance, though. It's not one that's going to, you know, make somebody come from you know all the way across the room but when you pass somebody you leave that behind you that they gonna smell it they gonna feel it and they gonna be like what he got on I'm telling you why i say why la parfum last but not least is another one that i absolutely love um, I think this is a straight bar, straight clubbing, straight going out, straight attention type of fragrance. And it is One Million Parfum. Very fruity to me. It's kind of got a grape soda, grape Kool-Aid type of vibe. Something great that you drink. You know, whatever you drink is great. But it smells good. I mean, it's, it's, it's very youthful. It's very playful. It's not one of those fragrances that you have to think about. You know, it's not, it doesn't smell like a niche fragrance or anything like that. It's just got this personality to it that I like. Really do, really do like that fragrance. One million parfum. Love it. All right, guys, that has been 12 fragrances in my collection that I think I have worn the most this year to my best recollection um, and some of the occasions that I wore them in. Listen, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you like this type of video, let me know. Leave it in the contents. Give me some ideas about some things you guys want to see. Uh, also, please be sure to be active in the comments section. It helps me, you know, a lot. It helps with the algorithms and all of that stuff. Um, yeah, trying to be more consistent with uploading videos, trying to get them up every day by at least four o'clock. 
So that's something that, you know, we should be able to continue to do. I need to smell this one more time as this video is getting longer and longer. Anyway, nonetheless, I'm going to get off here. Thank you all for continuing to return to the scene of the crime and for being the absolute best part of my day. Um, I appreciate all that you do for the channel. May God bless you all. I love you all. And until next time, peace. When your remote don't work, what do you do? You try it.